Okay, here we are with uh, the next part, project assignment PJ3, coupling base. Um, you can see that's the final shape that it's supposed to be, um, but I'll, I'll walk you through step by step here. Um, there's some, uh, some aspects that you will have to figure out here, and I hope I can uh, explain them. So we'll start with this. Uh, I started extruded boss base. Click on top plane. You're in sketch mode. Um, draw your first line here. Um, and then we're going to go over here to center point arc. Uh, there's three options that you can click on. Um, it's center point. There's tangent and three point is the other ones. But we want center point. So you come over here. And when you see the dotted line, you click. You'll get this dotted circle with a dotted line for the radius. Click on the uh, end point of the line. Just drag your pencil over until you get the dotted line again. And click, and then you've got your line. And you do it again on the other side. Oh, wrong spot. Uh, right there, there, and like so. And we've got ourselves a couple of lines over here. And over here. And right now, dimensions don't matter. You're just trying to align everything. Um, so uh, I find it easier if you snap things to locations. So add relations, a big one. It's how you constrain um, your, your drawing, your sketch. So you'll want to add relation, click on that line and hit collinear, and it'll bring it down. Um, and then so here, here are the next step, we want offset entities. And uh, if you had it already selected, you'll get this nice yellow line right here of your offset. Um, you want to make sure it's on half inch thick. Um, if the drawing, if the yellow for whatever reason shows you the arrow on the inside, it's going on the inside. Uh, just hit the little checkbox that says reverse, and it'll flip it to the outside. Uh, I like to keep this uh, initial sketch to be our ID, and then the offset will be our OD. Um, and then hit the check over here. You'll you'll get the the offset. Uh, you're still in sketch mode. Um, you haven't left the 3D mode yet. So um, let's uh, let's finish this here. Um, close off the ends. Okay, so there's there's all that. Um, the next step is uh, your relations. So if you if you try to move this around, I'll just show you real quick. It starts messing it up like that because your relations are all jacked up. So what you want to do is add a relation. You're going to align these two vertices, vertices right here, vertical. And then you're going to go, come to, hold on. Um, there we go. you got to hit the check first. You can't do this in, in several steps. But um, you'll click on, why won't it accept it? Click on the vertex. You want this one up here, vertical. And it locks it in place, so now you can't uh, see. Now, now it makes messes with the other side, and it'll mess with some of the thicknesses. But uh, that's that's how you get that to lock. So you want to do that with the other side, the other two vertices, like so. And vertical, and then add a relation, click on that one, that vertex, and vertical, hit the check. So now that should be locked in place. So if you move it around, you're just going to change you know, your radius or your thicknesses, that sort of thing. So the next step is to get your dimensions set. So you want to set that one to 1, and that one to half. But it says it's it's clashing with other things, so just leave it as dimension driven. It's just going to be a 
like a placeholder dimension. It turns gray like that just to help you figure things out. Um, this one needs a relation. It needs to align with that. So click on the two lines and hit collinear. And that brings them together. Uh, so now more lines are turning black and we can go forward with dimensions. We've got a dimension here. That one is two and a half. Um, what, what just happened? Well, um, why is, why did that one turn black? Oh, the collinear is on the wrong line. Okay. I'm not sure why I did that. Um, let's try that again. Okay. It should be collinear with, uh, if you hit the drop down for your part here in the view, you can select your planes. So you want the front plane to be collinear with that line, not that line. That, that was a mistake. So um, hit the check there. Uh, some more things got black. Um, and we'll try, try that width again. Here to here. Let's see what that does. Still doing it. Very interesting. Um, Okay, we'll skip this step for right now. Um, we need those two to be one and a quarter. That brings it together. Uh, you want to show the right plane because we want to center it. So click on that, smart dimension with the right plane. And you want 1.25 divided by 2. Uh, the other way. Thank you. Um, so now it's uh, it centered it onto the, the axis here. So just hit the check. OK. Um, the next step is we just need to make sure that this one and this one are equal. It doesn't like this. Okay, let's just roll with that and see. What does it do? Uh, it's not solvable at all. So, that's interesting. Okay, well, it's not editable there. It's not editable there. Okay, well, we'll roll with that. Um, see if the dimension here will work now. Four and a half. Okay, that worked, but now they're not equal. Why? There's got to be a relation that I'm missing. Oh, oh, I forgot. Yes, so add relation. You want to find the midpoint of that line. It'll be this little line with a circle on it, midpoint. And align it with that side. Hit coincident. And there we go. Now it's equal. And everything locked in place. That That's the trickery that... See, I told you there's there's some trickery involved in this. So so now you're you're ready to go. You hit the check, and you want to extrude it. Your thickness of your part is half an inch, five, and there's your funny looking part. So the next step is to make the part that's sticking out with the hole in it. 
So we want to do an extrude using bat face. Extrude. And we'll go to that side. Uh, select your line. And we want to come up from that vertex there. And we'll come up from this vertex here. And then we'll do another one of those arcs, uh, like so. It's doing it backwards again. Okay, like so. And we got ourselves a dimension of 65. It's already there, 65. And you want to enclose this, like so. And go ahead and do the hole here. And that's a half inch diameter. Five. Um, and you want this to be on the same level as that, so horizontal. And those two also horizontal. Mm, I didn't like that. Okay, well, it's a circle, so they should all be horizontal now. So, um, you need this to the bottom. Um, that is one, hold on. Oh, um, no, hold on. We need that dimension to the bottom of the part, not the bottom of the, the drawing, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to get rid of that one. This one's going to be one. And then it shows it like so. And your uh, center point should be aligned with this. OK, well. When it hits me, it gives me yellow like that means it's over to fine. There's too many definitions, which means it's already constrained correctly. So you can go ahead and delete. Come on. Come on. Delete. Okay. Um, okay, so everything's constrained. You're ready to go. Hit the check. And it'll show me the whole part. Okay, we need to flip the direction and go up to surface which is the surface hit the check and there's your part i uh, hope that helped um, if you have any questions please let me know i know there's a there's some errors that i was popping up in the, in the middle of the feed um, but you know i kind of walked through uh, how to resolve those errors if you ever bump into those um, and uh and yeah that's that's how you how you make this